So in the background there, you can see my flask is boiling. We're gonna be titrating with that flask in just a second. But uh, what's going on inside that flask, we're taking hydroxylamine. We reacted it with some iron three chloride. During the course of the reaction, the iron three ion turns into an iron two ion. We're gonna then react that iron two ion with our standardized potassium permanganate. So I'm gonna take this guy off with the heat. Set it here. And our directions say to take that, um, that the product of the hydroxylamine and iron three reaction that we are gonna add 50 milliliters worth of DI water. So that's what I have here. We're gonna add 50 milliliters worth of water. And we're gonna add some phosphoric acid. So phosphoric acid is to decolorize our iron ion. The iron ion is a little bit yellowish. If you could see there from that solution. It's a little yellowish, and that would mess up the results of our titration. It would be difficult to see that light pink ion from the permanganate changing its oxidation state from a plus seven to a plus two. Um, it'd be difficult to see if the solution itself was kind of yellowish. It would taint that color. So what we're gonna do is add some phosphoric acid to this and it should make the yellow-ish color of our uh, solution here disappear. Should look more colorless. So I kind of swirl that around a little bit. Our phosphoric acid helped decolorize our iron plus two ion. Now we're gonna take that flask and we're going to titrate that guy with our standardized potassium permanganate. So one more time, we're going to put that uh, magnetic stir bar in our flask, put that on our auto stirrer, and we'll get this guy ready to go. hanging off the bottom here before we get started. Okay. I already took note of what my initial volume in my burette was. So I'm just going to bring my camera really close to that for you guys so you can see. There's that. And now, I'm gonna back up one more time, and we are going to titrate. And again, we're looking for that light pink color. There we go. Turn on my auto stirrer. And we'll begin. So once again, I'm looking for that light pink color to stay. That's an indication that our reaction is complete and we start to have a buildup of excess Mn plus two ions. So as the reaction starts, this purple solution, the permanganate, has one oxidation state, the manganese has in one oxidation state. As it reacts with the Fe plus two in that flask, it changes the oxidation state of our manganese. So, I have a rough idea of how much it's gonna take for us to turn that light pink. So I'm gonna go a little fast in the beginning here, just to speed things up and then we'll start to slow down in a minute. Okay. 
And once again, I have it on that uh, white piece of paper just to make it a little easier to see when our light pink shows up. Getting closer, that light pink is lingering a little bit longer each time. Trying to go a little fast <laughs> for you guys, so you don't have to sit around and wait for too long. Getting really close. Okay, a little darker than I would have liked. I was hoping for a little bit lighter, but I was trying to go a little bit fast for you. So now we have that light pink color. That's an indication that our uh, permanganate ion has been completely converted over to the MN plus two. And now I'm gonna get my camera over here for you guys so you can see. Here's our uh, volume reading at the end. Let me get that piece of paper here so you guys can see it. All right, there's our new volume. And now we're going to use that data to figure out how much Fe plus 2 must have been in the flask when we started. Good luck. <laughs> 